we must understand that the obligation to create these stories rests with us. The obligation to secure these stories rests with the people in our community who have the resources, who are not necessarily in this room, who are not necessarily at this festival, but who are in this town. We read about their deals, right? We know how much money they make, and I am glad for Glow, and I love Pose, and Drag Race. <laughs> it's an incredible, just, I mean, you could talk about Drag Race from all angles. <laughs> but people love the things we make without loving us. And if we expect them to love us, we will be devastatingly disappointed. Which brings me to perhaps my most important point. We have to love us. Right? We have to love us. Enough of the fuck shit from within the cisgender queer community. Enough. Are trans women women? Yes. Full stop. And any day now, we'll decide to stop ignoring trans men. And any day now, we'll stop assuming that trans identity somehow means aspiring to cisgender privilege. Mm. Mm. So, from, pun intended, from top to bottom, <laughs> cis to trans, I make this modest proposal. Our obligation is to love one another. Our obligation is to be the thing we want to see in the world, in business and in our community. And I wanted to finish with just what gives me hope. I was doing the red carpet, and, and there's this incredible picture of me and Jane Fonda. And if you ask me, I look like Bobby Short. Right. I was like, who's that short person in the blue jacket? Oh, that's me. I thought that was Bobby Short. Um, he's an old, he's like an old school comedian. Um, I met Jane, and it's ridiculous that I'm calling her by her first name because I would never do that person. Um, I met her in January at, at Sundance um, at a dinner that I was invited to at the last moment. And um, so, you know, saw her on the red carpet, found myself in People Magazine across from a picture of Tiffany Haddish who, um, you know, is Tiffany Haddish. And um, I spent two and a half hours on the red carpet before the Academy Awards. And I was aware at every moment of how many people were looking at me. I was aware uh, at every moment that for as many people as tuned in for the pre-ceremony red carpet you know, coverage, that some kid somewhere would see me and know that they could have a future in which they got to live as their authentic selves, in full, without apology. And that was and is the gift that I hope to continue to give. And the best thing, I mean, I didn't, I didn't win the Academy Award, right? Only one person wins. There are five films, five amazing films, one amazing film won. But I'll tell you what my prize was that night. In addition to being able to be there with the entire team that made it possible, my partner, who for 10 years has been the rock of my life and the beat of my heart, I took my cell phone out of my pocket when I got back to the hotel. And the young person in my life who's a 17-year-old trans girl, she's going to be a senior in high school, she and her friends were watching. And I said something about being an example to kids all over the world. And she was watching at that moment, and she sent me this incredible text message that I still have. And she said, you're right, and 
as an aside, when when the kids were born, I I never signed um, Aunt Nancy. I never I, I never signed A U N T, right? I always signed A N T. And so now my nieces call me Aunt Man Nancy. Oh. Right? It's perfect. I'm, 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 I'm Ant Man, <laughs> and I love it because I got an Ant Man's hoodie out of it. They like everything. Everything now that I get from them is like branded with Ant Man. Like I should, I should be doing you know publicity for Ant Man. Um, but I got this incredible text, and it said, Ant Man, I love you. You're right. You've given us a gift, and. That fuels me to make more content. That fuels me to demand a place at the table. It fuels me to remind our brothers and sisters who have the resources, who have the resources, to share them, to embrace a more inclusive model of capitalism, which is not to say we expect you not to make money. It's to say that we expect you to bring us to the table to help you do that so that we do not have to spend the rest of my life and the next generation wringing our hands about what we could have done differently. Mm -hmm. We have the chance to start doing things differently now, together. Thank you. Let's get to work. I'm executive director of Outfest. Uh, I, would, I don't deserve the applause. There's a huge team that does this. I just show up. Um, I really want to recognize Lucy first and foremost. Um, Outfest has led the charge in addressing uh, trans representation and assuring that your stories are told, that the narrative is in your hands. Uh, but we also recognize that taking action is even more important. Uh, and Lucy created the Trans Summit so that we could leverage the place we hold, the physical space we hold, to bring people together to have more important dialogue, to have in-depth and safe dialogue. Uh, and I want to just first start and thank you for truly being a leader and making sure that we leverage Outfest's position. Um, and to that point, uh, there's going to be a lot of important dialogue here, Yancey, uh, you all will participate in, and given uh, the continued conversation around uh, trans representation in film and television, uh, Rub and Tug, the terrific uh, coverage that Hollywood Reporter and Variety just gave to some of our brilliant trans actors and industry members, mm -hmm. Outfest wants again to take action. Uh, we again want to leverage our space and the access we have. Um, and I'm sorry I'm being intentionally nebulous with this, but later this week we're going to announce a new initiative to address that, a trans and non-binary specific initiative that we hope will be uh, our next step in trying to be part of a solution uh, and to support and protect our community. Um, we have you all here together, so I wanted to make sure people knew that we're continuing continuing to try and take action. Uh, we want to do it right, so we're waiting till uh, the middle of the week to announce. So again, I'm sorry to, to be nebulous, but I do want you to know that Lucy kicked off uh, some important action and Outfest is committed to continuing not to just shine a spotlight, to take action, which is, I think, what we all want uh, and the community deserves. begin with the first of three films that we're going to be sharing with you today. Um, this film made its world premiere at the Toronto International Film, film Festival um, last year and um, we were very proud to include it in our boys shorts program this year. The title is We Forgot to Break Up. We have the star of the film with us. You'll be meeting him afterwards. Um, I'm really excited about this. Please make sure your phones are on silent before we go ahead. 
and, uh, and hit play. Um, I'm thrilled to be able to have a really nuanced discussion about the importance of narrative content featuring trans and non-binary leads. Um, and Jesse Todd will be here to have that with me. So thank you so much. Enjoy the film. <laughs> Our documentary featured jury. Travell Anderson is an award-winning recorder with the LA Times covering diversity in Hollywood with a focus on black and queer film. A sociology graduate from the nation's headquarters for black male excellence, Morehouse College in Atlanta. They also received their master's in journalism from Stanford University. Um, in 2018, Travell received the Passing the Torch Award from Veda Brothers Los Angeles for their work in media representing black, queer, and otherwise marginalized communities. A gender non-conforming social curator and self-dubbed world changer, they are also president of the LA chapter of the National Association of Black Journalists. Please welcome Travell. All right. Hey, everybody. Hi. All right. Hey, Destiny. <laughs> um, so I'm actually going to stand up. Uh, so the part of this part of the summit is supposed to be kind of an open conversation for us. We want to allow an opportunity for everyone here to share your hopes and your dreams for representations of trans and non-binary and gender non-conforming folks, your concerns and criticisms for some of the things that we have seen, um, and, and we want to use as a launching pad for the creatives that are in the room, perhaps in terms of storytelling, um, perhaps in terms of other ways we can hold each other accountable and claim space um, in the industry, both on the independent side and in mainstream. Um, I'll start with just a, a personal reflection. Um, being in this room as, as someone who um, often is the lonely only in spaces that I go into, um, I feel so much uh, 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 pride and energy and spirit. Um, and so I want to thank you all for just being here, because we've been here for a few hours already. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I want to thank you all for that, for bringing yourselves and showing up and being visible, because um, I think we all have a, a role to play um, in this conversation, moving this all forward. Um, and so I'm going to shut up now um, and basically be kind of a moderator and a facilitator. I want to know some of your feedback, some of your thoughts, some of your feelings about the things that you see. Yes. Also showing that avenue besides the fact that you know 
all these films were great um, and they hit everything that you know hits home because we've all experienced it in one aspect or another but also showing that you know what sometimes what happens when we go out to West Hollywood you know the things we encounter um, during our time hanging out with people that we thought are on the same level as us so yeah that was my rant sorry that was no my I, 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 I love that point I think um, one of one of the folks up here earlier talked about how uh, people of privilege um, need to use their access and their privilege to kind of create space and open up space and hold some conversations. Um, in our community, a lot of times we, we don't uh, think of the ways that even we have privilege, right? The majority of us in here appear to be able-bodied folks. Um, we don't talk about how, we don't talk about race within the LGBTQ community and racism. Um, we don't, we often ignore and other our trans brothers and sisters and gender non-conforming folks. And so I think it's a very great point. Um, uh, about more more types of representations coming